Hello everybody, this video is about the uh, power supply of LDMOS amplifier and like most people I'm also using one of these HP power supplies which is very cheap on eBay and has a lot of power to drive our amplifiers. It delivers 51.4 volts at 57 amperes which is a lot. With this power you can easily uh, uh, melt metal, you can use it for welding and you can imagine if something goes wrong we have a big problem in our shack. The cable can burn and uh, something like that. So I looked for a solution to avoid uh, dangerous situations and accidents to make the power supply secure. So what you see here is the rear side of my amplifier. Here are the massive 6 mm connectors which are able to, to handle 100 amps. And here we have a little magic board which secures the power supply. It is a security switch and uh, I will show you now how this works in detail. The central part of this security switch is the BTS 585 which is a high side power switch and high side simply means that it is connected in the positive power supply between the power supply and the load, in our case the amplifier. This device is able of handling a voltage up to 58 volts which is fine for our power supply and a current up to 44 amps which is also fine for our LDMOS transistor. And what it basically is, it is a high power MOSFET transistor and a lot of logic to make it secure. This device has two special connections. One is uh, pin 3 input and uh, using this pin we can switch on and off the transistor. The other one is the pin 5 IS and uh, on this pin 5 it generates a current which is proportional to the load current and using a resistor we can make a voltage which tells us exactly which current is flowing into the load. So this is the circuit diagram of the security switch. On the left side is the input from the power supply. Then it goes to the BTS 585. And on the right hand we have the output going to the amplifier. Now this circuit now handles two issues. One issue is that it limits the maximum uh, current which is for our LDMOS transistor an example 35 amps. So it limits the current if, and if it goes for any reason above 35 amps the switch will simply open and nothing bad can happen. The second issue is that uh, if you connect this power supply directly to the amplifier then the electrolytic capacitors in the amplifier will be charged and the charge current can be that high that the security of the HP power supply switches the power off. So imagine that we have switched on the power supply but the switch here is still open. Now we have here a button which is usually located on the front panel and labeled with ON and a 1K resistor in series. If we press this button then we connect the input from the power supply with the load and we have a current through the 1K resistor which now precharges the electrolytic capacitors in the power supply and avoid a very high switch on current. A few milliseconds after pressing the on button the 50 volts from the power supply through the 1K resistor will go back through the 470k resistor and charge the capacity C1. When the capacitor is charged the MOSFET transistor Q2 will be closed pulling the pin 3 in of the BTS to ground which switches the BTS on. Now our load the amplifier is directly connected to the power supply. So what happens in case of a failure? If in example the output current exceeds the 30 amps or whatever we said, then the voltage on resistor R1 will be high enough to close 
the transistor Q3. And Q3 will pull its drain to ground, which opens Q2. When Q2 is open, the pin 3 of the BTS will be open and the BTS opens and no more current goes from the power supply to the amplifier. So now as we have secured our power supply we can enjoy ham radio and the amplifier and make our QSOs without uh, accidents or other bad situations.